Yes. Hello, my name is Vladimir Yakovlev. I am one of the best European freestyle windsurfers and the head coach of a traveling windsurf school, Magic Wind. Our school has years of experience in coaching people of all levels and organizing windsurf camps in the best and windiest spots all over the world. Supported by JP Neil Pryor distributor VTS Sport, I decided to share my experience and knowledge with you in a number of tutorial videos. I am pretty sure that these videos will help you to avoid common mistakes and improve your riding skills. Today I will explain you the most important maneuver, fast tack turn. Why do you need this turn and its advantages in comparison? to other turns. I will share with you tips on how to execute this turn perfectly according to my special method. Upwind turn is the most important turn for every windsurfer. You can use it everywhere, doesn't matter how fast you're going, whether you're planning or not, whatever type of equipment you're using. The good thing is there's just one technique that you can use to make this turn in any conditions. This turn will also help you go upwind, which is really important in windsurfing. There are four main components in making this turn. Moving your feet on the board during the turn, switching your hands on the boom and moving the sail, spinning the sail around and finishing the turn by pushing your board in another direction. To make the board go upwind, take your back foot out of the foot strap and place it near the front foot strap so that your heel is positioned closer to the rail. By pressing on the rail you turn the board upwind. At the same time you get your front foot out of the foot strap and place it in front of the power joint across the board. In case you find it difficult to put your front foot in front of the mast, place it behind the mast foot, make one extra step with your back foot and then one more to position your front foot in front of the power joint. Start going around the mast foot as soon as your board has crossed the wind line. This move consists of only two steps. Raise the heel of your front foot and turn it 90 degrees around the toes, placing the back foot nearby at the same time. Then place your back foot behind the front foot straps. Make sure you keep your feet on the center line of the board for balance. Now let's take a look at our handwork. At the beginning of the turn, put your front hand closer to the mast. Don't move your back hand unless you're using a large sail. In this case, you could move it a bit closer to the harness lines. Never put your back hand in front of the harness lines so you don't lose control of the wind power. Afterwards, you unhook and move the sail slightly towards the board's tail so that the board can turn more upwind. Don't put the sail too much to the back, otherwise you will overload the tail and quickly lose the planning. Moving upwind, look towards the wind and be ready for the next step. During the turn, don't pull the mass to your body with your front hand. Keep the sail closed and pull the back hand in order to keep the balance and power the sail. As soon as you've turned into the wind, start swapping your hands. Let your back hand go and grab the boom on the other side, crossing it above the front hand. In this moment, keep your arms slightly bent. Grab the boom further back with your other hand and sheet in quickly to gain wind power. Straight after sheeting in, release your front hand and slide it back from the mast. Spinning the sail around. At every moment of the turn you should keep balance with your sail, not letting it pull you over. Before you start switching sides, throw the sail to the other side of the board with a quick body move. 
Try to throw the sail quickly at the beginning so you get a momentum in the right direction and continue swapping your hands and feet, no longer thinking of moving the sail. The main point of it is to let the sail move around you so you can stay upright above the board. Using this sail swapping technique will allow you e to easily move towards the tail of the board. So first, you move the sail to the other side of the board and then you move towards the tail staying upright. After you've switched the sides, your sail should be above the opposite side of the board with the mast leaned forward. Squat down with your knees spread out. The lower you position your body, the lower is your center of mass, which helps you a lot to keep your balance. Also, while lowering your body, you take the weight off your feet, which makes it easier to move them on the board in case you've taken a wrong position during the side switching. After that, while holding in the same position, you shove the board into the turn with your front foot. Keep pressure on your heels more to lift the board rail above the water and avoid digging in. That's it for today. Keep practicing the fast tag, follow my channel and join the Magic Wind Professional Windsurfing School.